Now, let's proceed by inputting some dialog using a keyboard. To do that, I choose the text tool from the tool palette. Clicking on the part where the text is supposed to go will display a text box. Text can now be entered simply with the keyboard. The direction and size of letters can be changed in the Tool Property palette. The entered text is stored on a text layer. By selecting the text on the text layer with the Object tool, you can make the text box larger or smaller. Adjust the direction and size of characters and change the font, all from the Tool Property palette. To add a letter or character, select the text tool and click on the text box to add text. Special characters can be entered by using the character list in the Tool Property palette. Once done with entering characters, I create a speech balloon with the Balloon tool. For this example, I will be using the Balloon Pen to create a balloon with the Pen tool. Since I want to draw rounded curves for the speech balloon, I uncheck the Make Corners Pointed checkbox in the Tool Properties. Under Correction, in the Subtool Details palette, I set the value for stabilization to 30. When using the Balloon tool, the Speech Balloon automatically fills in white. If there are parts of the Speech Balloon that I don't like, I can just draw on top of it to correct it. To add the Balloon tail, I'm also using the Balloon Pen tool. It's also possible to select parts and modify them by using the Object tool and then make fine adjustments to the shape of the balloon. Speech balloons can also be created using materials. Open the material palette and click the balloon tag. From the displayed balloons, I'm going to select Jaggy Curve Small 2 and drag and drop it onto the canvas. To change the size and adjust the angle of the balloon, I use the Object tool. By reducing the opacity of the balloon layer, I can check if the speech balloon matches with the original layout and make corrections if needed. For simple round speech balloons, it is easier to create a beautiful shape by using the ellipse balloon and balloon tail subtools from the balloon tool set. Let's draw another speech balloon with the balloon pen.
Because the thickness of the balloon lines is irregular, I need to correct that. I select the balloon with the object tool and increase the thickness of the lines by adjusting the brush size in the tool properties. For the small speech balloons, I'm going to hand draw the characters inside. To do that, I create a new layer above the balloon layer. Then, I choose the calligraphy tool from the pen tool selection and draw the character by hand on that layer. And this is how I added the dialogue according to my base layout sketch.